Hi everybody, I'm Joe Brophy at Cosmic Headquarters here in Lake Sunapee. September, post-Labor Day, everybody's gone home. Sun's out, shining, cool breezes. So I'm preparing to teach a class on the topic Global Trends, the year 2030 Alternative Worlds. And it's based on a report produced by Nick. That's the National Intelligence Council in conjunction with the CIA and the military other international organizations. It's a quadrennial report. It's produced for the president, uh, for his edification, and for strategy and tactics and so forth. I found a video that I'd like to use in my class on fertility rate. It projects a feeling that Muslims are bad people. Muslims are not bad people. Carol and I discovered this firsthand on our six-week trip to Africa. We sailed from Cape Town to Morocco, stopping at 22 ports and 16 countries. We found the Muslims to be very congenial, very intelligent, very sincere, and very reverential. We incidentally were on the National Geographic Explorer with about 20 naturalists and scientists, and we were there to study African culture. One of the things we discovered is that a lot of the baloney being slung around the internet on Islamic beliefs and the Koran are simply untrue. They are not correct. The facts stated in the following video are correct. They're actually sound, particularly the story about fertility rates, which I can attest to as an actuary. The report, uh, Global Trends 2030, Alternative Worlds, is a quadrennial report produced by the National Intelligence Council, NIC. The report emphasizes that jihadist-style terrorism will probably trail off before 2030. It's good news, or perhaps not good news, because it'll be replaced by non-Islamic jihadist-style terrorism from organizations uh, sometimes referred to as NGOs, non-governmental organizations, but essentially groups uh, that want to do harm. These organizations can wreak havoc because of the availability of weapons of mass destruction that can be manufactured with three-dimensional 3D printing. These are high-tech, toxic, or percussion-type munitions that can create a lot of damage. And this point is emphasized many times in the uh, Global Trends Report. Getting back, here's some facts about fertility and migration and aging and movement of populations that will place the place that will occur during the next uh, 20 years. First of all, the good news, the population in the USA will continue to grow to about 500 million people by the year 2050 because of fertility and because of migration, much of which might be illegal migration. This is one of the reasons I've always been supportive of the of illegal migration because of the long-term benefits uh, to our society, assuring us of a growing workforce and a growing consumer base. One of the interesting facts about the USA is that uh, we're very facile as a society in absorbing migratory cultures. We've been doing it for well over 150 years without a great deal of disruption. TG, explanation point. Of course, that means, thank God, in Gaelic. So the USA will have a growing workforce to fill jobs that have not yet been created and a growing consumer base. General Hans Cartwright, former vice chair of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and a featured speaker on emerging technologies with regard to the report Global Trends 2030, said, and I quote, we have the technology tools to teach our young growing workforce the skill needs needed to help the USA compete effectively in the emerging global economy. Here's another point, point two. The average age in Russia will increase from 39 to 44. And its populations will shrink from 140 million to 130 million. It's not good for Putin, not good for Russia. More importantly, the average lifespan of Russians because of drinking and smoking is about 15 years less than the world average. Shame, shame on Commissioner, Chairman, Putin. 
course, we we're all worried about China. Here's our third point. The average age in China is increasing very rapidly and much faster than the rate of change here in the USA, going from 37 to age 44. That's the median age. Well, here in the United States, our age is increasing from 37 to 39. Moreover, their workforce is shrinking by 20%, which will create workforce shortages, labor shortages, and higher labor costs. Not good for the Chinese. Here's point four, Japan, our ally. The average age in Japan will increase to median age of 52, the highest in the world except for some monasteries and convents around the world. Japanese are simply not reproducing. Japanese culture is rigid and unforgiving and unable to assimilate different cultures. They can't do it. They can't accept immigration in any form. Dr. Michio Keiko from CCNY, one of the founders of string theory, preeminent uh, physicist, in a talk recently said that the reason the Japanese government is placing so much emphasis on robots, particularly the Asimov robot, is designed to meet the nursing needs of the aging Japanese population. So I have two more points. Point five, there are a number of other major demographic shifts occurring around the world. Mass migration from the suburbs to the cities, requiring the building of the equivalent of 75 cities the size of London during the next 17 years. The building uh, requirements will exceed, the, during that period, the total building <laughs> requirements just the beginning of time. Major construction ahead to meet these changing migratory forces. Another uh, major trend is the growth of the middle class from 1.2 billion currently to as much as 2 or 3 billion during the next 17 years, depending on how favorable economic growth is during uh, that period. Growth in the middle class uh, will place great pressure on housing, water resources, food, and security, uh, which probably government will find very difficult to accommodate. Governments are becoming too big to handle the demands of the growing middle class. Uh, the demanding middle class requires a much richer diet and protein and other services. And here's my final and sixth point, and it might surprise you. It's easier to become a Muslim than a Christian. Yeah. And therefore, Muslims are growing at a faster rate than the Christian base. In fact, uh, Muslims now are the largest religion throughout the world and have surpassed the number of Christians. A lot of reasons for this, and I've described it uh, in a paper that appears on my blog, www.brofiblog.net. The fate of Islam remains to be seen. On the other hand, consider that Turkey today is the 17th largest economy. The economy is red hot as a military, the largest military, save perhaps Britain. It is a um, Ataturk secular culture that's been flirting with Shahira law now for a number of years and probably will move in that direction. So Turkey will move into the top 10 economies in the world in 17 years. And who knows the fate of Islam? But perhaps we'll have another Ottoman Empire in the offing. If Islamic fervor remains unshaken and steadfast, then perhaps the ultimate clash in near the year 2030 will be Islamists versus secularists in the media. So that, that concludes my remarks. Thanks for listening. Uh, but please continue to watch uh, the following presentation on fertility rates. With anything less, the culture will decline. Historically, no culture has ever reversed a 1.9 fertility rate. A rate of 1.3, impossible to reverse. Because it would take 80 to 100 years to correct itself and there is no economic model that can sustain a culture during that time. 
In other words, if two sets of parents each have one child, there are half as many children as parents. If those children have one child, then there are one-fourth as many grandchildren as grandparents. If only a million babies are born in 2006, it's hard to have two million adults enter the workforce in 2026. As the population shrinks, so does the culture. As of 2007, Spain, 1.1. Across the entire European Union of 31 countries, the fertility is a mere 1.38. Historical research tells us these numbers are impossible to reverse. In a matter of years, Europe as we know it will cease to exist. And in only 15 years, half of the population of the Netherlands will be Muslim. In Russia, there are over 23 million Muslims. That's one out of five Russians. 40% of the entire Russian army will be Islamic in just a few short years. The German government, the first to talk about this publicly, recently released a statement saying, the fall in the German population can no longer be stopped. Its downward spiral is no longer reversible. It will be a Muslim state by the year 2050. It states, the current fertility rate of American citizens is 1.6. With the influx of the Latino nations, the rate increases to 2.11, the bare minimum required to sustain a culture.